Welcome back. Welcome! Now, before we get into anything, you need to like and subscribe <laughs> to this video. Yes, please. We're trying to get this channel. Our first goal is to get to 2,000. We're really close. We're, really like, we're almost, close. a little over 500 away. Yeah. Help us get to 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> and then we're off to the moon. To the moon! To the moon. Help us get there, please. Like this video. We got a haul, and we're gonna get into it right now. We stopped off at a local spot on our way out to Wisconsin. Yes, Hayward. Yes. We had some business to attend to out there. We did. We decided to hit some spots on the way, and the first stop was Big Liquor. Warehouse. Well, I found one of my faves. I'm not sure how they got it. <laughs> Why they had it, because it's from 2022. Right. But it's the BRT01. Man, oh man. Love this one for its incredible butter, scotchy notes. Yes. I'm excited to taste this one. I don't think I have yet. Oh, you gotta try it. But I'm very excited. We already, also, we already have one open, so I'm not gonna, yes. I'm not gonna open another one. Also, the people <laughs> over at, um, what is it called? The, out, the Big Liquor. Big Liquor are very nice. So nice. Really cool people. Oops, excuse my phone falling. Those people over there at Big Liquor are very nice. So, oh, yeah. love those guys. Ooh, thank you, Ruben. Indeed, sir. Since it is one of my faves, I'll also have some. Wow. Dang. Yeah, they did it right on this one for some reason. That smells so good. Oh, I just love it. BRT 01. 01 from 2022. Dang. Again, not sure how they had it. Right. But I'm glad they did. Coming in at 109. 109 proof of butterscotch and caramel Point goodness. something, actually. Point 0.4. So, oh, yeah, that matters. It's just actually perfection. Yeah, it's most delicious. So this just goes to show you that your favorite bottle might still be out there. Right. 100%. You just gotta look for it. Speaking of favorite bottles, we're gonna get to another one. Our next stop that we went to. In Wisconsin, we made it over to, uh, what is it, River Falls? Mm -hmm. To Divine Liquor. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Yeah. The experience there was just top notch. It was next level. It was. It really was. Those guys are sick. It was, yeah, you need to go check that place out. Yeah. Store picks for days. Tons, they have three different sections. Incredible selection. Yeah. All over the place. Also check out the tequila channel. Definitely. Because we also looked at a lot of that when we were on this trip. So make yep. sure, get over there, like and subscribe there as well. <laughs> you got a, uh, one of your faves. I did get one also, of my faves. Also my fave. Also, yes. Had to. Sonoma triple finish. Had to get it. Again. An older one. This is last year's uh, limited release. Yeah. Excited to see what this year's is going to be. I'm very excited. I'm just happy that I got to pick up that again. Right. Just because I think I have like maybe this much left. You gotta have a backup. And so I have to have a backup. And it's I just have, so good. This is my backup. Word. Yep. Yep. But I oh, have yeah, a backup yeah. to my backup. You have to. Because it's my favorite. Yep. That's so, so, so good. You know what's Had really really good like the Sonoma triple finish if you can't if you can't find that was this old elk port cast finish okay came pretty dissimilar to that oh, one okay. when we tried that sweet oh. love it yes so I'm that was excited. our first stop into our second stop divine liquors divine. again that's where we found that bad boy yeah and it it didn't it, it didn't end there it did not end there not even it close. really didn't end there we Thank got me. one of their incredible store pick uh, rise called the Rise of Fall. Yeah. Only six, 60 bottles of this stuff and it is phenomenal. It is so good. It's so delicious. It's so smooth. We tried it at the store, so if you want to see us trying it and giving you some uh, notes and stuff, go watch the haul or the hunting video. Yep. That just came out before this one. We've got all the tasting experience. Look at that wax. Look at the wax. And it was 
John, correct? That mm -hmm. was his name. John was, uh, I think he's the owner of he this, is, yeah. owner of the liquor store, but very knowledgeable man, very nice guy, very fun to hang out with, very fun to hang out with, and he just met the whole us crew with, there. Oh man, the whole crew was awesome. Yeah, he met us with just an awesome vibe. Got to know us a little bit. We got to know him. Showed us awesome. some really cool stuff. Yep, some really cool and stuff. And got to try a lot of cool stuff. That being one of them. This was incredible. Okay. Definitely a must have. There's only 60 it's bottles, so, so. It's actually so good. Yeah. That While we were good. there. We found some good stuff. Full proof! <laughs> Come on! So I remember back. Uh, friend Jeff from the Wright County Whiskey Club and myself yeah. went over to Lucky's, stood in line, two hours, didn't get a bottle mm. of Weller Full Proof. Yeah. But we did get this incredible divine liquor. Store pick sure did. of Weller Full Proof. Wow. Yeah, that's so exciting. We are so amped for that. When we're gonna do a, uh, we're gonna do a separate video for this guy because yeah, look out for that one. Definitely wow. look out for that. It's gonna be a big one. It was basically a big giant tater haul. Yeah. Because we got the Taylor Rye. Sure did. Which I'm very excited. I don't think I've ever had any E.H. Taylor. <laughs> it is time. <laughs> <laughs> this. Is another bottle. I'm very excited for the rye. Of what's inside of that? This is. The oh, rye. this is the rye. Yep. Oh, word. Yep. Yep. Straight rye. Oh wow, that smells great. It's incredible. Now, father-in-law, Jeff, get ready for the new series coming out here in the spring. Drinking with Jeff. Ooh. Yeah. Good times. Yeah. Get ready for that. That's gonna be great. He, this is his favorite. That's the reason I had to get this. This is his favorite current. Uh, right. bourbon, rye, right. okay. whatever, whiskey. Wow. That smells fantastic. And that's it. gonna be super fun with Jeff. Oh, That series yeah. is gonna be sick. You gotta be there. Oh, I have to. That'll be really fun. Yeah. It's gonna be incredible. Yep. And so it was uh, for that reason that we had to get this rye because we gotta make sure to have it there. What do you think? Very good. It is delicious. E.H. Taylor just does it right on all levels. Wow. Wow, perfect amount of oak, not too much rye spice where it's kind of burning right. you up. Right. Super smooth, not high on proof, but it's still there. You're still warm. That's where it's at. That's gangster. The tater, the taterness continued. <laughs> <laughs> Came across a uh, stag 22 B. That's gonna be cool. Excited for that guy. Um, someone did tell us they liked the 22 A a little better, but they yep. told us the 22 B was still very good. So. Yep. 22A, yeah. man, if you can find that guy. That's gonna be a good one. Good luck. Yeah, hard to find. We're in the 23. It's 23 yeah. had three bottles, strangely. ABC? Yeah. Oh. Which is interesting. C, I guess, is really, really hard to find. Do Does Stag usually do three, or is it No, it's normally just basically two. Basically just two. Well, it was two releases a year. It's kind of all over the place, honestly. Okay. But two has kind of been the norm, but then this year there was three, so. Then, we moseyed on a little further north to uh, Cumberland, Wisconsin. Up by the cabin. Up by his family cabin. Man, love that area of Wisconsin. It was beautiful. Yeah. Even in the dead of winter with nothing, no snow or anything on the ground, Yeah. still really beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful. All of the lakes and everything that's up there is just... Love it. We uh, stumbled upon Island Liquors. Our good friend, Mike. Yes is the one who turned us on to all of this. He was in a podcast we did with the Whiskey Library, the yeah. Minnesota Whiskey Library. Yeah. You need to check that out too. Definitely. Talk to him. We stopped there and we got this incredible single barrel straight bourbon whiskey, Copper Craft Distillery. I love that bottle. It was, yeah, the bottle is stellar. Mm -hmm. Again, we tried this at the store, so mm -hmm. check that out. Yeah. Watch that video because it is, this is a good one. It's a really good one. It was really tasty. If you find yourself awesome. in the Cumberland area, this is the bottle to stop for, for sure. Yeah. We got bottle number 170. We should have looked for the right number. I know. 
Oh, you know what else we got when we were up there? I forgot about this one. Is this the number? Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about is. that. We found. Mike also told us, or told me, that I, he asked if we had the, this bottle. Mm -hmm. And I said, nah. And he said, you're missing out. So we found one, the old gem of Kentucky. Mm. We got bottle number 69. <laughs> had to get it. Or barrel number 69. Sorry. Had to. Had to happen. 100%. Had to. Also, I'd love that bottle. Very cool that it's blacked out. Yeah. Very cool gem design on the front. Love that. Haven't had it. Heard it's really amazing. Yeah, we'll I've never tried. had it either. I'll probably never buy another uh, 2XL product again. Really? Not that they're bad. They're just stupid expensive. Yeah. I've heard really good things about, but not at the price that they're trying to get for it. Mm -hmm. Not for me. Yeah. This one though, I'll do it. For two reasons. This one's Barrel number 69. And <laughs> you know what, we should probably crack this one. We open. should probably crack it. We should probably check it out. And then Mike telling you. That Mike you said that it was, yeah. And I trust Mike. Yeah. He has a great palate. It's good to know people with great palates. Right. Or at least just like solid, consistent palates. Or palates that align with your palate. Sure, yeah. And everything that he had me try when we were at the Library? The library, yeah. Right on point. That's awesome. So. That library thing is a really cool deal. Yeah, it is. You need to come next time. Uh, I would love to. We'll have to do that. Let's get into this thing. Oh, Let's we're gonna need some new, that. we're gonna need another new Glen. <laughs> Glenny. Get some Glennies up in this. We need some Glennies. Bruzel had somebody complaining on one of his live streams that he was washing Glens in the middle of the live stream. Yeah, he was washing them? Yeah, he was just cleaning them out, like, not even like, yeah, yeah. whatever, he was just going, rinsing them out. Somebody complained about it. Can you believe that? How are you supposed to get the correct flavor if you got flavors just mixing and matching? Or if, and then if he's upset about him, like... They want, I'm guessing they want him to have like a hundred glands just lined up ready to go. It's just well, dumb. You know, that's... None of, us, none of us are rich, okay? Yeah, no. Don't act like... I act like you're not impressed, right? Exactly. This I'm excited about. I'm very excited about. I have no um, knowledge of I'm 2XO, so I'm just gonna enjoy it. Oh, sorry. The... I do have a little bit okay. of knowledge. So 2XO is, the 2XO is the double barrel thing. That's his thing. Oh, okay. So two times two oaked. Um, Dixon Denman used to work for uh, Kentucky Owl. Used to be the master distiller over there. Cool. Went out and started his own thing. Yeah. And this is what came out of it. Sweet. And most of his stuff is double oak. Or all of it. That's I don't just know. his jam, huh? That's his jam. I like that. Okay. It smells incredible. It does smell very nice. Holy cow. Whoa! Okay. That is really That is wow. so delicious. Mike, you might be onto something here. Wow. That's that's gonna be a tasty morsel like yep. a well. Woo! Man, I'm trying to figure out. Incredible, like, oh my gosh, it's like a, almost like a sugar cookie. But a then, sugar. Yeah, but like the vanilla part of the sugar cookie? Yes. Like when you're mixing up the batter and you put the vanilla in? Yes. If you had like a, a layer of a sugar cookie, like the top layer of sugar on yeah. a sugar cookie and you put Vanilla on top of that. Oh, That's yeah. kind of what I'm getting off yep. of the nose. Mm. Gotta do it. Do it. Here we go. Dang. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hits the tongue right away. You got caramel. You got vanilla. You got cherry. Cherry. Caramel. A big bomb of cherry for me. Wow. I haven't gotten a cherry yet. But you're right, right on the tongue. I didn't have to swallow it. No, and it was the second it hit. That's incredible. And I'm not I'm getting, I'm not getting a ton of the oak. It's there. Yeah, right. It's not overbearing. But you would think with a double oak, you'd be, you'd have more of it. But it's like, yeah, almost in the perfect spot. Yeah, hundred percent. Right towards the finish. Nothing really crazy. Yeah. That sweetness is just lingering for ever. Yeah, I can't really take too much. Too, too, too much oak. Right. But there's not too much oak in this. Beautifully proofed at 108. 
108. Yeah, that is nice. That's so nice. Man, the tongue feel, the mouth feel on this thing is awesome. So good. Yeah. Nice little tiny prickles on the tip of your tongue. Beautiful legs. Coats your whole mouth. Honey. Yep. Vanilla. Yep. Then the oak on the back end of your palate. Yep. I'm not getting the cherry anymore. I got it on the first wave. Okay. Not as much now. I did not get it even on the second. I wish I did that. That would have been awesome. The nose on this thing is just so good. It's nuts. Yeah. Oh, I got a little bit of the fruit again on that one. Still wow. kind of a cherry, almost grape. Okay. Kind of in the middle of those two. Okay. And as when I after I swallow and then breathe in, then I got it. It's just very slight, very subtle. You have to really be thinking about it. Okay, I can see where you're coming from. I can get a little bit of a fruit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not strong. No. Right in the front. Wow. Yeah. Your palate. Yep. Yeah, I got it right in the front and then right down the sides. Okay. Wow. That's very good. All right, we gotta go back to. We gotta go back to Divine where we got one more that I was super excited to add to the, finally add to the Old Elk collection of their finished uh, whiskeys, yeah. bourbons, whatever they are. So we have the Armagnac. Yep. We have the Sherry. Yep. We have the Port. We were missing the <laughs> also, the people at Divine, I just can't get over Divine. The experience there. It was like, so It good. was just so cool. Yeah. Like, they took us in. They were curious about what we wanted or looking for yeah. or what we liked. What and then, like. yeah. And then just start a conversation yeah. and then start talking more Here's and more thing, and more. One thing we're going to say is don't go in there being a tater. No, 100%. Yeah, do not go in there be like, do you have the bee? You have to dump date on that one. Um, don't party. do that. Don't be that person. If you want to be that person, go to party plants. There's a there's a Facebook group out there called the Taters. No, that oh. that is literally just about plantains and dump dates. And if you want to find those bottles and you're looking for that letter, that's the page for you. Go do there. It. They yeah. got everything for you. There you go. <laughs> oh, that was a killer pop. That was. I still love these corks. You need another one? I think so. You do. You definitely do. You gotta have some of this oh, one. You slack it. The cork is uh, kind of looks like the base of an elk horn. Oh yeah. Love that. To be honest, I actually thought that was an elk horn the first time I saw that. Maybe it is. That'd be cool. It must, it must go through a lot of elk. I was gonna say, you're <laughs> getting a lot of elk. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That's not, that's not quite enough. Boom, old elk, cognac finish. Wow. What an incredible bread note. Wow, 100%. Almost like a food bread. Yeah, like a plum bread. Oh yeah. That's incredible. Oh, that's crazy. I love, that's just my palate. I love the, uh, wine finished, the yeah. cognac finished, the sherry finished, the port finished, the the mm -hmm. finished in mm -hmm. some type of grapey uh, barrel. Yes. For me, it just hits. That is insane to me. Wow, I'm just loving that. Oh, I'm getting an insane nose of good grape, like yep. hugging this edge of the glass. Ooh. That is going to be... Guys, this is... This smells really, really good. Old elk. You might know what you're doing. I think this is... I think this is only my second time, if I'm remembering correctly, of actually tasting old elk. Wow. Slowly but surely getting there. Whoa. I'm ready. Oh, wow. That's nutty. Not like it has a nutty flavor. It's just blowing my mind. Whoa. The aftertaste for me is almost like I had a a red wine yep. that was in a in a barrel. Yep. With like with, with wood stay like put it so bit of oak in there, sorry. Like a lot of times wine will dry my palate out. Yeah, right. But with this it's like it's like 
almost a juicy fruit mm -hmm. kind of a yeah 100 percent. just exactly. keeps you wanting to go back for more but yeah it's making it's not water. drying you exactly yeah it's not drying you out yeah wow that's good i was not expecting that mm -hmm. i don't doubt it like it, it <clears throat> on your nose you could definitely smell the grape um you can definitely smell a little bit of the oak or whatever uh but it just it's com almost completely different yep on your palate, but you're still tasting like oh my gosh, it's like it's like a red wine finish for me. It's so complex. The cognac region of France. Cognac. Mmm. I've never been a huge cognac guy. You know what we do in one of our next videos is go through all of the finished ones of Old Elk. Mm -hmm. Those four that we just showed. Yeah. That would be fire. That would be awesome. Especially what if we did a blind for it? Yeah. Let's, okay. Yeah. Right on. Let's blind it. Figure out which one of the four old elk finished bourbons we like the best. I like that. That would be fun. That would be really fun. Mm. That's some really good juice. That's it's good. tasty. Wow. There it is. I think that's all of them. I kept forgetting some, but oh, I think you got them all. I think we got them all. Yep. Stay tuned for that Weller Foolproof, guys. That's Ooh. that's gonna be an exciting video. It's gonna be a mind blowing video. Yeah. We gotta bring Rob in too. Hundred percent. Cause he's a weeded guy. Yeah, he is. He loves that weed. The three of us. Maybe we uh, try and do that one over on the new couch and do yes. a different different little setup. A little different for look. It. That'd be fun. That would be a blast. Put a little vibe on it. Exactly. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like he said, check out the other videos coming up. We yes. got some exciting stuff coming. Very also, fun. if you didn't see the hunt video for these bottles, go back and check it out. It was a blast. Like, none other. It was a fun time. That was really, really fun. Just a great time. Yeah. Thanks so much for tuning in. We will see you in the next video. Peace.